Hello there, my name is Dominic and today I have the Technocamo 19 and the Technocamo 19 Pro for a one-on-one -on -one comparison. These two phones have the same symbolic touring camera design with the 200 million stars non-stick fingerprint back cover. Physically, these two phones are an indistinguishable from each other. They have exactly the same ports at exactly the same place. Personally, the only way that I can distinguish between the two phones is by looking at the name on the back cover. The Technocamo 19 Pro has the OIS addition, which means optical image stabilization. Before we get into the phones, let us first of all take a look at the accessories. These two boxes were never the same in size, so what differences in accessories are there? Let's take a look. Now the accessories on these two phones are exactly the same. I can actually interchange these two accessories. They are exactly the same. The same 12 plus 1 months warranty. And we have exactly the same. USB Type-C cable and hands-free headset on each one of these two boxes. The main difference is in the chargers. The Technocamo 19 Pro has a 33 watt dual voltage flash charger and this is a very fast charger. I actually got 42% battery juice in 20 minutes. On the other hand, the Technocamo 19 has this slim compact charger that is retractable like that. This is an 18 watt charger and you can see the difference in size. The user interface on the Technocamo 19 series phones is exactly the same. They have the same drop-down notification and drop-down menu. And they came out of the box with gesture navigations. So you can see these two phones do not have the three button navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen. So I'm just going to change that. You can change that in the system settings. And you can see system navigation. If you are very keen, you notice something about the scrolling speed on these two phones. The Techno Camo 19 Pro is much more smoother than the Techno Camo 19, and I'm going to show you why. Let's get into the specification comparison. These two phones run on exactly the same iOS version, which is version 8.6.0, and this is based on Android 12 operating system. I will start with the similarities. The screen on these two phones is exactly the same. It's a 6.8 inch or 172.2 millimeters screen. The resolution is 1080 by 2460. It's a full HD plus high gamut display. The other similarity is the rear camera. These two phones have exactly the same main rear camera, which is 64 megapixels. These two phones have exactly the same battery capacity, which is 5000 mAh. And that's where the similarities end. Let's start the differences with the RAM values. The Techno Camo 19 Pro has officially 8 GB RAM, while the Camo 19 has 4 GB RAM. The Camo 19 has expandable memory up to 7 GB and the Techno Camo 19 Pro has expandable memory up to 13 GB, which is a lot. One of the big differences between these two phones is the processor and the Techno Camo 19 Pro has a MediaTek Helio G96 processor while the Techno Camo 19 has a MediaTek Helio G85 processor. The Helio G85 processor has 8 cores, 2 of which are 2 GHz Cortex A75 and 6 of which are 1.8 GHz Cortex A55. On the other hand, the Techno Camo 19 Pro has also 8 cores, 2 of which are 2.05 GHz Cortex A76 and 6 of which are 2.0 GHz Cortex A55. As far as the GPU goes, the Camo 19 Pro has a Mali G57 MC2 GPU, while the Techno Camo 19 has a Mali G52 MC2 GPU. So what about the sensors? These two phones have exactly the same sensors. The fingerprint sensor is available on the power button and the other sensors are exactly the same, the accelerometer, orientation, magnetic, proximity, light, rotation, gyroscope and gravity sensors are all available, the temperature, pressure and humidity sensors are not available and finally the game rotation, step detector and step counter sensors are available. The big reason why the Techno Camo 19 Pro has a smoother display is because of the refresh rate. So let's get into the display settings and check the refresh rate. Now the Techno Camo 19 Pro has a 120Hz refresh rate and this makes this phone much more smoother. Now if you want you can change that to 60Hz or auto switch to save on battery but I prefer to set it to 120Hz. The Techno Camo 19 on the other hand only has 60Hz refresh rate. Whenever a phone does not display any of the refresh rate settings that means that it has a 60Hz refresh rate display.
when it comes to the camera, these two phones have a lot of big differences, but the biggest similarity is the main 64 megapixel lens. When it comes to video recording, these two phones record the same qualities and the maximum being 2K, which is 1440p. We have SkyShop on the Techno Camo 19 Pro, which is not available on the Techno Camo 19. But other than that, everything else is exactly the same. When it comes to the front camera, both these two devices do not have a front LED flash, and instead they have this. This is what they use as the flash. Another big difference in these two devices is that the Techno Camo 19 Pro has video stabilization, while the Techno Camo 19 does not have that. And another very, very big difference is the telephoto capabilities. Now you can see that the Techno Camo 19 Pro has one times and two times at the bottom, while the Techno Camo 19 does not have that. Now the Techno Camo 19 Pro can be used up to maximum zoom of up to that times. This is the telephoto capabilities, and this uses the portrait 50 megapixel lens as a telephoto lens. So the Techno Camo 19 does not have any of that. So let's take a look at the lenses at the back. When it comes to the camera, I've already said that the main lens on these two devices is exactly the same, but the difference comes in the other two lenses at the bottom. Now on the Techno Camo 19, the lens on the right is an AI cam, while the one on the left is a 2 megapixel bokeh camera. On the Techno Camo 19 Pro, the biggest difference is that this lens is a 50 megapixel portrait camera, and we have a 2 megapixel bokeh lens on the other side over here too. But that's not all, because the Techno Camo 19 Pro has OIS and EIS laser stabilization autofocus built in. The Techno Camo 19 does not have that. When it comes to the front camera, the Techno Camo 19 Pro has a 32 megapixel front camera, while the Techno Camo 19 has a 16 megapixel front camera. So those are the differences and similarities between the Techno Camo 19 Pro and the Techno Camo 19. Which one would you prefer? Personally, I would get the Techno Camo 19 for an everyday use phone as well as a content creation phone. It takes very good photos and videos. But if I wanted a performance phone, a phone for gaming, I would go for the Techno Camo 19 Pro because the 8GB RAM plus 5GB ROM for a total of up to 13GB is very good for gaming. Now there is a third phone in the Techno Camo 19 series and that is the Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G and I'll tell you the difference between that and the Camo 19 Pro right now. While the Camo 19 Pro has a Helio G96 processor, the Camo 19 Pro 5G has a MediaTek Dimensity 810. Now while the Camo 19 Pro and Camo 19 Pro 5G have exactly the same main rear camera, there is a difference in the other cameras. For example, while the Camo 19 Pro has a 50 megapixel portrait camera, the Camo 19 Pro 5G has a 2 megapixel bokeh camera instead. And while the Camo 19 Pro has a 2 megapixel bokeh camera for lens 2, the Camo 19 Pro 5G has a 2 megapixel macro camera instead. There is another difference in the front camera too. The Camo 19 Pro 5G has a 16 megapixel front camera instead of the 32 megapixel lens on the Camo 19 Pro. And the biggest difference between the Camo 19 Pro and Camo 19 Pro 5G is the price. So here are the prices for the three phones. The Techno Camo 19 goes for 23,499 Kenya shillings in Kenya. The Techno Camo 19 Pro goes for 33,799, while the Camo 19 Pro 5G goes for 41,599 Kenya shillings. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Let's meet in the next video and goodbye.